They travel to the eastern side of Maui. For generations, the people of East Maui have been traveling the Hana Highway, which follows the curves of Maui's coastline. The main attractions are over 50 bridges, numerous waterfalls, dangerous cliffs, and 677 turns. In 2000, the Hana Highway became a national monument. Because of the road, the people of Hana have unique challenges that filter into their lifestyle. This is our life. This is what we have to do. We have to travel the roads. We're not coming to Hana or going to the other side for vacation. Like That's where everything is, is on the other side of the island. When you take a trip on the Hana Highway, you have to prepare for anything. Say we need to be at a soccer game at 10 o'clock in the morning. Okay, so we have to prepare the kids. Our soccer balls, our cleats, shin guards. Some of the things we bring to Kailui is water, a flashlight, extra clothes, and a pillow and a blanket. Some other things you have to bring is music and snacks to keep the driver up, jumper cable, reusable shopping bag, and don't forget your money. Many residents of Hana believe that the driving habits of non-residents can create certain problems for us. It can be really frustrating because we're on tight time schedules and we need to get to our destinations on time. These habits that some of the non-residents have include like driving in the middle of the road, stopping at inopportune moments, or driving in our lanes, cutting corners. Every day we travel the road, our lives are at risk. You never know when a boulder is going to fall down on your car. We lost a school teacher already, and there were several others too. I had a cousin who left Hana early in the morning to go work. It was pouring rain, the road was slippery, it was muddy. He just drove off to the side, and they found him the next day in his truck, gone. I've been a big part of getting my parents off the Hana road only because it was taking a toll on their life. I founded an organization to create the, the nation's first communal dialysis home in Hana. Although the Hana Road is so important to all of us, to some it's um, torture because they're not well, they're sick, and you cannot miss your appointments. That's why many of them just give up my life. I think pretty much it keeps Hana from overdevelopment because people don't want to travel far. It's very limited on what you can bring in to develop because of our bridges being so old and you can only carry so much and that's what's helping us to keep Hana the way it is. It helps us to keep our traditions, our culture, the beauty of Hana and we like it that way. The people of East Maui have learned to adapt to a lifestyle compatible to the Hana Highway. Their challenges have now become their opportunities. This is Le Mamonahe from Hana K-12 School, signing off for Hikino.